and this is mentioned by uh, a man known as Imran Hussein, is that Russia, or Moscow, would be Rome. And the argument that's given for this is that Russia is the largest Orthodox Christian nation on earth at this time. Okay, they've got the most Orthodox Christians, and a lot of people, after the fall of the Byzantine Empire, began to argue that there was the third Rome, because the first Rome was Rome itself, the second Rome was Istanbul, Constantinople. So then they said the third Rome should be Moscow. Why? Again, because uh, there were a lot of Orthodox Christians living there. Why is this incorrect? Again, Rome was never, ever, ever defined by religion. Never. Second, at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there was no such thing as the Orthodox Church. The Orthodox Church came about when they split. You had the Catholics and Orthodox, okay? So the schism itself didn't occur until 1054. This is 400 years after the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When Allah talks about Rome in the Quran, they weren't Orthodox. The term Orthodox didn't even exist. But what's interesting is for those who say this, the actual seat of the Orthodox Church itself, where is it today? Is it in Moscow? No, it's actually in Constantinople. It's in Istanbul. So the, the actual center of the Orthodox Church itself is in Istanbul. It's not in Moscow. So why would Moscow or Russia be Rome? It's interesting, like, I mean, if you look at the, the actual Orthodox Church, they never ever, ever said, you know, Russia is going to take over our church, never. Even more important, not that it matters too much, is that Russia was never even part of the Roman Empire. I mean, Rome at least at one time was part of the Roman Empire. Russia has never been part of the Roman Empire. So again, we agree that location doesn't define it, but Muslims never refer to Russia as Rome. So again, to say that they would inherit the title of Rome simply because they're Orthodox is very, very fanciful. And this leads to the fourth opinion that refers to all of the Orthodox nations. And again, we would simply say the same as the above. Religion never defined Rome. Nor did the Orthodox Church even exist at that time. And more importantly, the Muslims never called Orthodox nations Rome, ever. Okay? Now, just to see while we're on it, I mean, even, I'm going to warn you generally about this man, Imran Hussein. Imran Hussein happens to be one of the people who talk often about this subject. This man is a Muftad. This man is an apostate. He denies stoning. He denies rajim. As the Prophet peace be upon him said, there would be people from my Ummah who would deny stoning. When he's presented with a hadith that are clearly authentic, he said, I don't accept this because I can't agree with it. Meaning he chooses to, you know, rule by his own logic and feelings. This man believes that Russia is actually a great nation and he supports Russia. Right now, Russia's bombing Muslim lands, he supports them in this. Okay? And this man's a terrible man, but the problem is that he's one of the only ones who talks about this subject. I come to you, who is Rome in the Quran and Sunnah, you're going to be referred to his works. You who is the Jal, again, you're going to be referred to his works. And he's the most deviant of them all. And I pray that Allah guides him. But again, and it's, it's sad to find that the ones who tend to be talking about these matters most are the ones who really should shut up the most. 